taarifa hiyo rais jaka kikwete ameshukuru serikali ya Sweden kupitia shirika lake la kimataifa la maendeleo sida kwa misaada mbalimbali unaendelea kuitoa kwa serikali ya Tanzania ambayo imesaidia kuchochea maendeleo ya kijamii na kiuchumi amesema serikali ya Sweden kupitia shirika hilo imekuwa msaada mkubwa kwa Tanzania kwa kufanikisha mipango mbalimbali ya maendeleo hususan ya sekta ni shanti ajira masoko kwa mazao ya kilimo elimu miundo mbinu ifuatayo ni taarifa zaidi Rais Kikwete ametoa shukrani hizo jana mjini Stockholm nchini Sweden wakati akizungumza na wafanyakazi wa SIDA katika makao makuu ya shirika hilo. Awali Rais Kikwete na ujumbe wake alifanya mazungumzo na Kaimu Mkurugenzi wa shirika hilo bwana Top Jaron Peterson kwenye kikao cha ndani. Rais Kikwete pia ameeleza kuwa sera nzuri zilizosimamiwa vizuri na serikali zimeisukuma Sweden kuongeza misaada zaidi ili kuchochea maendeleo ya jamii na kukuza uchumi ambapo hivi sasa ukusanyaji wa mapato ya ndani unazidi kuimarika. We get to 1096 Tanzania will no longer be an LDC which I am confident by next year we should be out of there. Or, or by next year we should be we should no longer be an LDC which, which is again a big compliment to all of us to to us in Tanzania but also to to Sweden and to Sida who have been supporting us all all, all, all these years mission to reduce poverty in Tanzania and i want to congratulate you Mr President and your government to the enormous achievements we've seen in the last years not only on growth that's been there for almost two decades now but actually we see quite significant reduction of all kinds of poverty also income poverty is uh, being reduced now even though all of us working with development of course never were happy with the result but at least uh, what we see is extremely positive Tanzania na Sweden zina historia ya muda mrefu katika mahusiano yake mapema rais Kikwete alitembelea ukumbi wa bunge la nchi hiyo na kufanya mazungumzo ya ndani na spika wa bunge Alban Allen kabla kukutana na mazungumzo na mfalme wa nchi hiyo Carl Gustav wa 16 kwenye kasri lake na baadaye kukutana na waziri mkuu wa Sweden Stefan Löfven ambaye alimwandalia chakula cha jioni katika hatua nyingine Rais Kikwete na ujumbe wake walipata fursa ya kukagua mabasi yanayoweza kutumika katika mradi wa mabasi endayo kasi unaotekelezwa jijini Dar es Salaam ambao kwa sasa ujenzi wa miundombinu yake upo katika hatua za mwisho kukamilika Beatrice Erki Channel 10